Florida Power and Light Company restored power to thousands left in the dark after Hurricane Charlie, and the company has been making improvements to better prepare for the next big storm. SNN's Grant Boxleitner has a closer look. FPL had a mammoth task after Hurricane Charlie, restoring power to thousands of customers. Came out after that storm and then the following day and we, we looked, there was what appeared to be a small army or maybe even a larger army of FPNL vehicles. 2,000, it seemed like 10,000. Ten years later, FPL says the company is better equipped than ever to get the lights back on faster after the next storm. Build a stronger electric system. In fact, since 2006, we've invested nearly $1.5 billion in uh, stronger poles, better equipment, and uh, cutting-edge technology. FPL is using smart grid technology and thermal imaging to help prevent outages and help crews identify problems. Crews have also reinforced power lines and replaced thousands of aging utility poles. And if the Sun Coast is affected by a major power outage after a storm, there's a good bet you'll see the FPL Mobile Command Center inside the hardest hit neighborhoods. This is uh, really taking a mobile command center that goes into the neighborhoods, into the hardest hit neighborhoods, and helps us to direct our restoration efforts. Again, all geared toward getting customers uh, restored service uh, faster. Reporting in Charlotte County, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Suncoast News Network. And FPL serves uh, most of Charlotte and Sarasota counties and has 4.7 million customers statewide. Our special coverage looking back at the storm continues tomorrow on the 10-year anniversary.